one who has taken up the rod atta danda sutta fear has arisen from one who has taken up the rod see the people engaged in strife i will tell you of my sense of urgency how i saw stirred by a sense of urgency having seen the population trembling like fish in a pool with little water having seen them hostile to one another fear came upon me the world was insubstantial all around all the directions were in turmoil desiring an adobe for myself i did not see any place unoccupied having seen those hostile at the end discontent came upon me then i saw the dart here hard to see nestled in the heart when one is struck by that dart one runs astray in all directions but having drawn out that dart one does not run does not sink there are trainings are recited whatever bonds there are in the world one should not be intent on them having entirely pierced through the sensual pleasures one should train for one's own nibbana one should be truthful not impudent without hypocrisy devoid of divisive speech without anger a muni should cross over the evil of greed and miserliness one should vanquish sleepiness torpor and dullness one should not keep company with heedlessness a person whose mind is set in nibbana should not persist in arrogance one should not be led into false speech one should not engage affection for form one should fully understand conceit and one should refrain from rashness one should not delight in the old one should not form a liking for the new one should not sorrow over what is diminished one should not be attached to an attraction i call greed the great flood i call longing the rapids the basis compassion the swamp of sensuality hard to overcome not deviating from truth a muni a brahmi stands on high ground having relinquished all he is indeed called peaceful one who truly is a knower a veda master having known the dhamma is independent living rightly in the world he does not long for anything here one here who has crossed over sensual pleasures the tie so hard to overcome in the world who has cut off the stream without bonds does not sorrow does not hope dry up what is pertains to the past let there be nothing forward if you do not grasp in the middle you will live in peace one who does not claim as mine anything at all here in name and form who does not sorrow over what is non-existent truly does not lose out in the world one for whom nothing is taken as this is mine or this belongs to others not finding anything to be taken as mine does not sorrow thinking it is not mine not bitter not greedy without impulse everywhere are the same when asked about one who is unshakable i call that the benefit for one without impulse who understands there is no activation at all abstaining from instigation he sees security everywhere 
The Muni does not speak of himself as among equals, inferiors or superiors. Peaceful, without misalliness, he does not take, does not reject. So said the Blessed One.